The Bay of Fundy, home to the highest tides in the world, up to 56 feet. The effects can be seen all around New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Those looking to experience the tide can see the flower pot formations at Hopewell Rocks, the intense rapids of the tidal bore in quaint towns like St. Andrews. There is something for everyone who wants to experience the Bay of Fundy. checked in. Looks like the sun might come out today, but I found out they have donated shoes from previous rafters that didn't make it back. Just kidding. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. I love it. And they have showers. That they do. So we can go rafting and then have a hot shower. Excited? Very. I've actually never been in a Zodiac before. Should be fun. Our first rafting adventure <laughs> on the Fundy Tidal Bore. The world's highest tides. Ready to go. And the sun's coming up. It's gonna be nice. Can't wait to ride the Tidal Bore. About 26 feet of tide. To if anyone's gonna slip, it's gonna be me. Okay, well you better put the phone away. <laughs> you better go first. We made it down the hill. We did. Covered in mud. <laughs> yeah, what is that? That's quicksand. That so cool. Ooh, wow. That's really weird. <laughs> we have a pocket of water underneath there, so when you press on it, it creates a pressure and it just starts trying to migrate up. Okay. And see, once that water all drains out, like if it start running down the hill, then it would turn hard again. That was fun. Gonna be underwater soon. You think? Oh yeah, 26 feet. I don't believe I've ever done that. Well, in two and a half hours. That's the line right there. It's coming right for us. <laughs> Awesome. You got a little chocolate I, stash going on. I got airborne a few times. <laughs> that that is the way to experience the Bay of Fundy. Be careful, honey. Don't get You made it. You made it. Look, I mean, look how much it's risen already. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, to think like the sandbar's out and like, oh man, she's gonna have to hold the boat for ten minutes, but she can almost like in. I'd give her three minutes, she's gonna be able to float the boat over that log. Wow. Good shower? I might make some coffee. I'm really happy I decided to go on this. I was kind of hesitating for a while because I tend to get seasick. 
I feel great. And that had to be, I think one of the highlights since we've been on the road for the last three years, it was just that awesome. And I don't know, it's really hard to explain. It's something you have to do. If rafting isn't your thing, you can watch the tidal bore from the platform. We are off to Fundy National Park and the Hopewell Rocks. Really excited to go check out these rock formations see it from the same floor. Although we didn't stop in Fundy National Park, the drive through was beautiful. After we got through the park, the scenic views continued and once again, we were reminded of the effects from the tide. We went from sunny and nice to windy, cloudy, rainy, and cold. And that was all in the span of a couple minutes. So like anywhere else in the world we've been, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. So here's what I say we do. Let's go down, we'll hit up the observation decks. Then we can go all the way down the path and the stairs to check out the flower pot rocks. And maybe we take the shuttle back rather than walk all the way back up. This is absolutely amazing. It almost looks like a desert out there. And what I can't believe is all of this gets completely covered with water. The tide is, or comes up a max of about 46 feet, which I can't even fathom. But it's definitely a good thing. I've got some straps on my hat to keep it on. Otherwise this thing would have been long gone. Be fun to walk right under that rock. You see the little cutout? There is an ever changing six hour window around low tide in which you can walk along the ocean floor and see the various rock formations that make up Hopewell Rocks. Because of the powerful tides churning up silt, the seawater in the bay looks like a chocolate river. But believe us, it tastes nothing like it. Kate and I joined a tour led by one of the interpretive guides. She showed us the different rock formations and took us through passageways created by the falling rocks. It's a little bit salty. Let me try one. Can I just yeah. grab any? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's tasty. Want another mitten? Sure. It's tasty. It was surreal to walk through an area that would soon be covered in water. There is even an emergency platform for those who get trapped by the rising tide. That guided tour was awesome. We learned so much and the best part was seeing the video of one of the rocks falling down. It's very interesting to look around and realize that every season things are changing. Because of the erosion from the water, you never know what's gonna fall down next. And she pointed out one of the rock faces along the tour that's supposed to be the next to go. And it could fall any day between now or in 50 years. On our way back, we stop to watch the tide, and you can see how much it had come in during the two hours we were there. As we made our way to St. John, we decided to see yet another effect of the tides, the reversing falls. The falls are a series of rapids created when the tide from the Bay of Fundy is forced through the narrow gorge and over underwater ledges in either direction, giving it the name Reversing Falls. You can enjoy the falls from the bridge or take a short path down to an overlook. It's a chilly day in St. John.
St. Andrews is one of many small towns associated with the Bay of Fundy. With just under 2,000 residents, the town is small enough to walk around as you enjoy the shops and restaurants it has to offer. Take a stroll down the pier to watch the tide come in, then stop in for tea and delicious cookies at the Sheriff's House. I missed my coffee, but I loved the cookies, especially the ginger crisps made from a 130-year-old recipe. After tea, enjoy a guided tour of the home and its period correct furnishings. This is the parlor room for all the important guests. I had so much fun. And is it any coincidence that fun is in the Bay of Fundy? I think not.